<laughs> What's up everyone? Josh here at Ohio Fish Rescue. We have a mess on the ground because you know what? Fish are sometimes jerks, but we also have some very sad news today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we get to it, we're going to go ahead and talk about this little guy. I don't know if my dad uh, did a video on this, but he had saved, uh, this lady had a house fire and these are her fish. These are some little pea puffers, cute little guys. Kind of funny, we just get the pea puffers out of here and my dad gets more. But there is like 10 of them in here and this is our little uh, flu, flu ball tank. Very, very cute tank. But you guys always mention something about how the floor by the 3000 is always wet. Well, you know what, that might be true, but the tank's not leaking. You can see it's dry over here, but literally since the water level's so high, the fish always splash. I was just out here about an hour ago and there was no water on the ground. So they splash all the time. You can even see some wetness on the bottom of the tank there. These Paku, the bass, they love to splash. So uh, that takes care of that there and it's always a mess but you know what since it's so hot in here we just go ahead and let it air dry and we never have to deal with it at all all right so you guys have also been asking about someone else we have uh in this tank we've had that dolphin in here you guys know we had two one ended up dying and the other one has been hiding in here and uh, he hasn't really been seen all too often because it's highly planted and there's driftwood in here. And uh, we just never really get the chance to see them because they only come out at nighttime. Well, he was in a good position and uh, we ended up snagging him out of this tank and we went ahead and moved him. So now he can be a little bit more on show. And uh, let's go take a look at him. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> all right, so coming over here, so since we had a bunch of bloodworms and stuff in this tank, I went ahead and moved him over to here. Look at him, pudgy little, little guy, look at him. He's so cute, but he is about 10 in inches long. So this is a 125, so it's 18 from front to, to the back. So he might even be uh, 11 inches or so, but I'm saying right at around 10 inches or so maybe a little bit bigger. But what I wanna do is set this tank up exclusively for him. I wanna have little like rings and balls and they'll actually play with them because they're a very intelligent fish. And, excuse me guys, but you can teach them, they're very intelligent and they can actually play with the different uh, toys in the tank. I've seen them where they tied a piece of fishing string to the top, had hoops in there, They'll have uh, ping pong balls floating, li little uh, plastic balls that he can push around through the, the water. And they, they just, they love to, to play. And they're super duper personable. Really, really cute fish. And even more awesome when you get to see them on display every day. So we won't make that mistake again. And uh, we're gonna keep th this guy looking very, very awesome in this 125. He is in here with this clown loach, and I may, I may put the tiger fish in there. I'm not sure yet, but down here I have a couple guys. There's a bunch of bitchers in, in this tank. Uh, we just got in, but there is a blue panay pleco in here. Uh, there he is, uh, a, a blue phantom. I'm sorry, not not a, a blue panay, but I want to go ahead and add him into the uh angel tank over here so i want to take that that guy out once he goes through quarantine and add him into this tank because there are a few oddball plecos in here there goes the royal behind that driftwood and there's a uh uh he's in there i can't see him but there's a golden nugget in here and one other kind of snowball i think and then there's a spotted raffaella in there so We'll go ahead and add that uh, blue phantom pleco in here and see how we can get him to grow. They usually max out at around five inches or so, so that'll be super cool. But unfortunately, not all news is good news in this video. I do have some very sad and unfortunate news, so 
let's go ahead and get to it all right so in this 4400 you know i told you a lot of our fish are starting to get old and they're starting to pet fairish well th this one is not so old we have had him for quite a uh a couple years and he was one of our favorites i don't know if you guys can guess who's missing but it is a sad one because they are really hard to come by as well and especially hard to uh grow out so as we look through here and some of you might know some of you might not know but it's really hard to pinpoint it, but you guys are looking at one in the video right now. And just so happens, his counterpart did unfortunately pass away. My dad told me he started swimming upside down this morning. There looks nothing to be wrong with him as far as his body goes. So he wasn't getting picked on. He wasn't sick. <clears throat> it could have been organ failure. I, I don't know. He wasn't being picked on so it's not like a swim bladder type thing But as you guys can see that there, there goes his brother and he's like three times the size of him And he just so happened to uh, be stunted and not grow and unfortunately he passed away So, you know, this is a, a sad day, but it's something every uh, fish keeper has to d deal with now I gotta fish this guy out of the, the water and uh, it'll open up, at least it'll open up a little bit, bit of room in the 4,400 gallon monster tank. So uh, some of you guys might have seen the video I posted on TikTok. And you know, people always got something to say, oh, that's not a 4,400 gallon tank. Well, you know, on TikTok, I'm a little bit not as PG as I am on YouTube. And I like to have fun with it so sometimes, so. And I'll put people in, in their place, but I'll do it in a, a fun, exciting way. But this tank is 14 foot long, seven foot from front to back, and six feet tall. So here, I'm gonna give the camera to Brittany, and she's going, if you wanna step back over there, you guys can see I'm 6'1", and the tank is as tall as me. I can stand up in there, and my head will be under water, so by rights, there's more than six feet of water in there. We've got the overflow high, so it might be six foot one inch of, of water. And the tank's actually taller. Those dimensions are inside dimensions. So you get strictly water volume, which I kind of want to talk about this real quick because this just ticks me off. It's a pet peeve of mine. Whenever a tank manufacturer sells you a tank, you know, uh, 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 125 gallon. It's six foot long, 18 inches wide, and 18 inches tall. You do the outside dimensions, and that's a 125 gallon. But I guarantee you, you go in there and get down to the nitty gritty, you go to the 16th of an inch, and you do the actual water volume, it's not gonna come out 125, stop splashing. It's not gonna come out to 125, 55 gallon. This uh, 14 by seven by, by six is water volume, and it's actually uh, 4,398.61 gallons. If you want to get technical, I might be uh, fibbing a little bit after the decimal, but it's something like that. It's not quite 4,400, but that's not including each overflow. That's also 50 gallons on the back, no piping, no filtration. That's just water volume. That's how I like to uh, calculate my tank volume here. But if you come over here, so you know, General rule of thumb, if you are six foot tall, you have a six foot wingspan or so. If you come and look at the side of this tank, there I'm touching the back, I'm not touching the front. This is seven foot from front to back. So I just wanted to show you guys that so you can get some size comparison of the tank because this is a three inch thick acrylic panel. And so let me get into another little avenue where I can teach you guys something. So glass always magnifies the size of your fish. So if you're looking at fish through, through glass, especially thicker glass, the fish are going to look larger through the glass. But with acrylic, the fish actually has a quite of a demagnifying effect. So the fish looks smaller and the tank looks smaller. That's why it doesn't look like there's seven feet from front to back. And some of these fish in there don't look that huge until you look at them from on top or you pull them out of the water, everyone's like, holy crap, I didn't think they were that big. 
that's because the properties of the material that you use for your tanks. All right, so now that you guys are done hearing me ramble on, I'm gonna go ahead and fish my buddy out of this tank and uh, go ahead and put him to rest. All right, guys, so you guys seen how small that guy looked in the tank, did not look that big, but here he is in my hands. He's a thick boy, so you can just see the size difference on that panel and what it does to the fish size. So we're gonna go ahead and put him to rest now. So it was a sad little bit video today, but nonetheless, it does happen and we move on. So always exciting things happening. You guys wanna stay tuned. I am going to California. We're going to California. So we're gonna go and pick up this new tank. So stay tuned for that awesome video coming up and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video as always. Stay fishy, my friends.